two elbowed forelimbs, advantageous or detrimental. On plain pillar forest biome of Planet X, you have mostly three types of vertebrates, those who burrow under the ground, those who run through the widely separated trees, those who live above ground level, calling the colossal plants home, and hardly coming down. In this scenario, one creature adapted to both climb efficiently and running on the plains. It has four relatively long limbs with durable non-retractable claws. The hind limbs are digitigrade and mostly similar to something like a zygodactyl emu, capable of sustaining the creature while it uses its arms to grab prey. Its forelimbs end in short palms with four digits, two of them being opposing digits, and has two elbow joints, the first bending backwards and the second one forwards, somewhat like the following, very poorly drawn, example, enter image description here. Now, would this forelimb structure really aid a creature that climbs and runs? I know it doesn't happen here since no ancestor had such arms, but I'd like to know if this could truly be a good evolutionary trait. An extra arm joint does not improve mobility. The human arm has seven degrees of freedom axes of rotation we have three in the shoulder, one in the elbow, and three more in the wrist. This allows us to put our hands at any reachable position in space in any orientation. This configuration actually already has one redundancy, as it only requires six degrees of freedom to achieve the same range of motion. Adding even more joints to the arm adds more weak points, increasing the overall fragility of the arm. While adding absolutely nothing to the range of motion achievable. Dot. It does add a bit of extra redundancy, allowing a wider range of motion even with a broken joint, but since you typically avoid using an arm with a broken joint anyway, this redundancy has very limited value. There's very likely a good reason why no animal has evolved limbs that look like this. The singular, slight advantage of redundancy does not outweigh the disadvantage of increased complexity and fragility of the arm. See, https colon slash slash www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov slash pubmed slash 2225087.